ITC World 2020 starts tomorrow in the Caribbean and Pakistan will be looking to retain their title. Um, Kim, they won last time in England. Will they be able to do it again? It's really hard to judge with Pakistan. They're an inconsistent side. Um, what we do know is their form in Australia was pretty terrible. Um, they didn't win a match over there um, when they toured um, over the uh, winter. They've sanctioned players since then. They had an inquiry into why that happened. Um, but Shahid Afri is uh, still leading the team this year. Uh, his performance will be crucial. I still wouldn't tip them to win this year, though. OK, if it's not Pakistan, who do you think it will be? Uh, the two teams that are going to enter the tournament as favourites are Australia and India. Um, I tend to lean, lean towards India. Um, they've just got such a strong side, it's really hard to pick holes in it. And we've seen all their plays in action in the IPL. So I think overall, they're probably the best chance. Um, but Australia too have a, have a pretty good side. My one worry with them is that while they've got a great pace attack, the wickets are expected to turn and maybe that might actually be a weakness. That yeah, of course they're missing Brett Lee. You might be a big miss because he can be quite effective on his day. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the problem with Lee is would he have been in form? But he's injured himself in the warm-up match against Zimbabwe. They've brought in uh, Ryan Harris as a replacement. That, that shouldn't be a real problem for Australia. OK, England hosted it last time. What do you make of their chances this year? There are a reasonable chance to, to go fairly deep into the tournament, I think. I mean, Kevin Peterson uh, is, is playing well, both batting and bowling, uh, as he showed in the IPL. I mean, the one worry is that he might be back uh, in England uh, at the birth of his first child uh, when it really starts to count. So, so that could be a problem. But look, in Craig Kiesvetter and uh, Michael Lum, um, Owen Morgan, they've got a lot of batting talent in there. There's a young talent as well, so hopefully they'll do quite well. Um, West Indies are obviously hosting this. Do you think they can make an uh, impact? Look, I really, really doubt it. Um, they were scratchy against Zimbabwe when they hosted them earlier in the year and lost their 2020 match to them then. Um, I mean, they've got the likes of Chris Gale and Kip Curran and Pollard in the tough side, so they've got players who can take the match by its throat. But on, on the other side, I mean, they play Ireland um, in the group stage, and Ireland could create the upset there, and, and you know, the West Indies tournament could be over before it's begun. So, um, any other teams? South Africa, maybe, can they make an impact? I mean, chronically, <laughs> underperforming at uh, yeah. these sort of tournaments, but certainly they've got the talent to do it, and Sri Lanka were runners-up last year, so they might feature as well.